Griffith as well, if, if there's anyone else, but Jillian Omodio, if I'm reading this correctly. My name is Jillian Amadio. Um, I speak not as an enemy or aggressor, but rather an ally and a friend. I've lived in Anne Arundel County my entire life. I grew up in your school system and know quite well the long-lasting effects of bullying, for I lived it throughout the entire duration of my school age years. Bullying's the reason it took me nearly 28 years to know my own worth and value, and it's the reason I don't want this trend to continue. This year I began doing something I never thought I'd do and started homeschooling my second grader. I withdrew her from two public schools in our county within the same school year due to unresolved bullying issues. She came home with bruises, scratches, and stab marks from pencils, but the physical representations of bullying are nothing compared to the damage I saw being done to her soul. She was continuously berated by a teacher and was then threatened with gun violence by another student. I could go on, but her story's not unique. We all have one like it. I was not allowed to know how these situations were being handled, but I do know nothing changed. In fact, it continued to get worse. School is not meant to be an anxiety-inducing place of fear. A child cannot learn if they do not feel safe and secure. People need to be held accountable, and policies need to be in place that actually protect victims from being victimized over and over again. Current policies protect the aggressors more than the victims. Current policies do not work to address the underlying issues. The words spoken to our children become their inner voice, and I refuse to let my child's inner voice become that of a bully. As a mom, it's not my job to simply protect my child, but my job to protect all children. And I will not stop until all children feel safe and loved. Children are not born cruel. There's something hurting deep inside their souls and that's causing them to harm others. All of our children deserve help, intervention, and meaningful guidance. I admire the programs being implemented in the high schools to help instill acceptance, although it's a sad reality that basic humanities must now be taught. However, these types of programs must begin far sooner than high school. We must reach these impressionable minds sooner. Our children are quite literally dying at the hands of this monster called bullying. Our children's self-esteem is crumbling under the unbearable burden of hatred that greets them in the hallways of the places where they are supposed to be most welcome. I refuse to allow the lives of our children to be put at continuous risk by allowing them to endure behaviors day after day that should never be occurring in the first place. Science, math, language arts, health, phys ed, these are all valuable areas of academic instruction, but nothing's more important than concerning ourselves with the mental, physical, and emotional well-being of our children. We must work together to empower and educate our children in the fine art of being kind and compassionate human beings. We must empower and educate our children to not stand silent in the face of violence, hatred, and injustice. If our children cannot learn to be kind and compassionate or love and respect each other, there is no hope for our future. When we report bullying, we are told that things are handled, but oftentimes those assurances fall flat. There's power in conversation, and parents need to be included in this dialogue. When the chain of communication is broken or falsified, it's the end result that suffers. My appeal to you today is to please help us help you make our schools the thriving place of love and learning that are meant to be. Include us, but don't discard us. Please let us work together to educate and inspire our children to be the people they are born to be. Thank you. Listen, would you do me a favor? Thank you for your testimony. Absolutely. Would you do me a favor and meet with Dr. Lucarelli so we can learn more from you? Absolutely. Thank, thank you, you very much. I yeah. appreciate no, your thank time. You. And I do appreciate all your work. Again, I know you guys do the best you can, and I truly appreciate all of it. Thank you. Thank you. We have one light, uh, Ms. Antwine. I just wanted to... Um, commend uh, Ms. Amadeo for her bravery in coming up to share what she shared with us um, and and her her emphasis on she wants to be a bridge to solutions. I encourage other parents to help us, as, as Dr. Alato shared earlier, help, help us community, help us parents be the bridge to a lot of the solutions that, uh, for our students. Thank you.